I used to listen to like a lot of, I used to listen to like a lot of other artists and it was just like, music was always running in my family, you feel me? So then it was just like, I could do that shit. Like everybody, when I was younger, everybody would tell me like I could sing and stuff like that. So it was like, like why not try it? So I did it and I was good at it. I was great at it. My name is Tata Don. That's T Y T H E D X N. A lot of people be like D O N. I don't know the fuck why. But yeah, my name is Tata Don. So I'm from North Philly. Guess you can call it North Philly. Uh, I'm from 6th Street. The 6th. The real 6th. Six, the real 6th. The 6th Street. So I'm from 6th Street. North. I'm from North, man, basically. It was a normal Saturday. Like, I was just doing dumb shit, young bullshit, playing 2K. So I'm just like. Let me go on YouTube and see like what people are doing or whatever. I like watching random YouTube videos, I guess. So I was just watching YouTube videos, came across a beat. Like it was just random as shit. Like it was all this YouTube stuff. And then it was just like a beat, like a specific beat right there. It was a specific beat right there. So I'm just like, all right, let me click on this. Like I just said I was about to write some music. So um, I clicked on it and I just fucked with it heavy. Like so weeks went past, months went past. I was just writing to it. And everything just kept coming together. Like I did, I didn't do it in one day. Like I didn't like bang it out in one time. Like literally, this song was created from like months of different experiences. Like just came together in one crazy ass song. Uh, it's never full. F X L D, not full. Like all, all my X's are O's. Like it's the double meaning of that. But people, y'all find that out later. But uh, yeah, I'm about to do this never full joint. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Shout out, uh, shout out everybody that's been rocking with me, man. Shout out all my fans. Shout out All Bars Matter. We doing that never full, man. Never full, bro. Never full. Even me saying that name, like, I even when I say that name, like, this is my, I honestly believe that this is my favorite song that I've created because so many people like it and I like it so much. Like, this is my favorite song, bro. It got so much, like, good, it's good energy, man. This shit, it's some real shit, too, man. That's the crazy part about it. I just been staying in my comments up. You nigga lame, we don't fuck with y'all. I fell in love with a double cup. Where I'm from, they do not give a fuck. They hate and be real, but they fade the love. I stay on my ten toes like I'm posted up. Had to cut niggas that said they close to us. Put that shit on my folk, I ain't folding up. And that, that's just basically, that's self-explanatory. Like, I just, lately I've been just stacking my money up. Chilling like I be in the cut like people be fake as fuck and that's where the you niggas lean we don't fuck with your verse come in And like and I had like this bad addiction with fucking lean bro Like thank god I'm off of that shit bro that shit is like heroin It's like crack like stay away from it whoever's doing lean do not do it please Like I'm begging you <laughs> like don't do it So uh yeah like I, I did that and like and basically the other bar like where I'm from niggas don't give a fuck like people don't care like unless it benefits them where where I'm from like I'm from Philly bro like it's it's hard out here like people be fake the love be fake bro the hate the hate be real though that's why I say the hate and be real but they fake the love like but I mean I stay where I stay where I'm at like I always stand my ground or whatever I do whether it's music my inter anything entertainment wise like even me myself as a, like a person like I always stand my ground like that's why I say I stay ten toes like I'm posted up and I had niggas be fake bro niggas be sneaks bro niggas be sneaks bro and I don't have a lot of friends cause niggas be sneaks bro so make sure cut niggas cut cut people that's not that say they close to you bro but they sneaking bro. Pink Kush running in my lungs, couldn't tell him my feelings, so I wrote a song. Niggas ain't on a wave of on, so I had to cut a couple of them off. And that right there is like, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm like really shy. Like, I don't seem like it, but I'm like really shy, especially when it comes to females. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I said it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it here first on All Bars Matter. I'm shy as shit. So like, <laughs> uh, I'm shy, bro. And like, when it comes to females, like, I don't know how to express my feelings. Like, I'm really bad at it. Like. So I just like rather, I write it down and I express it through my music, you feel me? Like I smoke up a doobie, roll up the pink cushy, you feel me? Then I write down my feelings in the song. Yeah, my enemies, they want me gone. Now I'm back and yeah, I'm double as strong. Yeah, I lost faith a couple times, but then I had my back, now I'm on. So in that joint, that's basically like, People gonna always hate like I've I've come to I've come to terms with understanding that in this industry or in general in life, people are gonna hate you. So Fuck him, bro. Like, what's the fuck? Do you, 
that shit not gonna stop your hustle. It's not gonna stop your daily grind. But it's like, bro, like every time you knock me down, I come back twice as stronger. So like, why are you even trying? Like your your hate is like what fuels my positivity. Like I said, fuels fu fu fuels it. Like it fuels my positivity, bro. So it's like, all right, you the dick, you want to hate. So it's like, yeah, but I, uh, like yeah, I didn't. It was times like in music and everything. Like I wanted to like stop doing it because like yo, these niggas be trash, bro, and they be getting on. Like, but that's a topic for another time. Back on my shit, number one rule: if she loving and crew, do not love on that bitch. Back on my shit, you cannot change what you did in the past and so move on from that shit. Back on my shit, I done broke bread for some niggas, but they didn't change up on some shit. Back on my shit, the question is who would have been by your side if you didn't have shit. So, and that's all. That's self-explanatory, like. If she a whore, don't some of us don't even know that they whores nowadays. They hide it so well. So just keep your guard up, man. Don't trust anybody. I don't trust a soul. You can't change what you did in the past, bro. Whether it's negative, whether you wanted something to last, whether it's like even like somebody of your family passing, like you can't change the past, bro. You can only look forward and like look for higher goals and like you just you just gotta move on, bro. You just gotta move on. And people, and like as far as like breaking bread with people, certain people that don't deserve like the 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 loyalty that you give them. You feel me? Like you bring so much to the plate. You bring you'll bring one hundred and ten percent, and they bringing you like fucking ten per, the ten percent of your one hundred and ten percent. And that shit is just corny, bro. Like you shouldn't have to put yourself through that. Like you as a person, you're a god. Like you're an inner god, bro. Like you need to express that. Side. You need to express that side of yourself and let people know. I done broke bread for some niggas, and then they changed up on some shit. So yeah, yeah, just keep your guard up, bro, and just be chilling, bro. And the question is, who would have been by your side if you didn't have shit? That's the last bar. That's self-explanatory. So but that's how it go. If you give out your opinion, they say you hating on the low. That's how it go. She ain't like the way her body was looking, so she got it done. That's how it go. I done seen niggas get killed in the trap by they mans on the low. That's how it go. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's sadly how it goes. Oh, uh -huh. And that joint. Damn, bro. That's that's one hundred percent self-explanatory. Like bar for bar. Like if you, it's right here. When you read, just read that shit. Pause the video right here, right, and read that shit. And I don't need to explain that to you. You have common sense. I, I pray you got common sense. They keep trying to blind my shine, but I won't let them hold me up. Nah, nah. I fell in love with the money. You fell in love with some buzz. Nah, nah. I fell in love with the pain, and we fell in love with the drugs. Nah, nah. Bitches, they all in my room. They dancing and fucking it up. Nah, nah. When we woke up in the party, you know we fucking shit up. I did this shit on my own. They never show me no love. Now I'm coming for it all. Now I'm coming for it all. You ain't stopping me, nah. You ain't stopping me. Once again, am I doing all right? Yeah. Y'all niggas better learn how to read. You wanna fuck with me? You wanna fuck with these bars? Yeah, it's better learn how to read. You gonna learn today? So, yeah, bro. That's self self explanatory, bro. I'm here and I'm here to stay. So with that said, that's the end of all that, man. Never Food is out now on all platforms, bro. Every single fucking platform. Got Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Stream Never Food, bro, because this shit is about to go viral. It's going viral now, so it's stacking up like commas. You see what I did there? I put the alert. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, like, shout out. Shout out everybody. Like I said, bro, like, shout out everybody that's been rocking with me. I got some shit. Like, I got some more Never Food music video coming out real soon, so please stay tuned for that. And uh, once again, shout out All Bars Matter. Shout out all my Tiggy and Colt. Peace.